Hey everybody, welcome to Meditation Monday. I'm Gia George and today we are going to do a crystal meditation. Welcome back. This is Meditation Monday, your weekly video guide to meditation, breath work, energy work, and spirituality. And I'm Gia, your host. So it's great to have you watching the show today. Um, I have a sort of special topic I want to talk about today, which is how to meditate with crystals or gems. So some of you might be curious about that, how to use gems and crystals for healing. And I'm just going to show you a couple simple ways to meditate with crystals today. So I've chosen two different um, crystals that I have. This is a quartz, a clear quartz crystal. Really cool shape there. And this is a rainbow fluorite. So this is said to be good for um, clarity of decision making, clarity of communication, decisiveness. Um, and this quartz crystal is really good for just overall protection of your energy field. So it's kind of a nice like um, aura protector. And these are two crystals that are special to me, and so I've chosen to do the meditation with them today. If you have any crystals at all, they don't have to be these. You can meditate with any crystals you have, any gems that you have, um, especially if you really resonate with them, then they tend to be something that you need in your life. So um, you can trust that whatever crystals you're attracted to are probably an energy that you need, and whether you know what they're good for or not. And if you don't own any crystals yet, feel free to Go to any kind of like spiritual bookstore or um, gift store and just pick out a crystal that resonates with you that you're attracted to. And uh, I'm sure that'll have good energy for you. So one way that you can meditate with crystals, which I did this morning and it was really powerful, was I actually placed the crystals on my chakras. So I chose to place the rainbow fluorite on my third eye because again, it's for clarity of decision making, um, clarity of awareness and decisiveness, which is a very third eye type of action. I placed the quartz crystal, the clear quartz over my heart chakra because it just felt like a nice protective stone to place over my heart so that I feel protected in my heart and open to love and open to acceptance and peace. So what I did this morning was just place the quartz over my heart, place the rainbow fluorite over my third eye, and I just laid back. I mean, I would actually lay all the way down and just place them over my chakras and just relax completely, feeling that nice weight of the crystals on the chakras. Um, you could also place some kind of a turquoise over your throat chakra. You could place any other colored stone that matches the color of the chakra. Um, or perhaps over your solar plexus, you'd want to do a different kind of stone. i um, not going to get too much into where to place what stones, but whatever you resonate with, whatever seems good to you, whatever you're attracted to, would be a great call. So you have the option of placing chakras over the, or stones over the chakras, but I'm also going to show you how to just hold crystals in your hand and also gaze at them and meditate with that. So let's go ahead and try that out. So I'm placing the rainbow fluorite in my right hand because it's a little bit more of a masculine energy stone, decision-making, action. Um, the right hand is the masculine side of the body. So I'm gonna hold the rainbow fluorite in my right hand, just letting you know <laughs> my reasoning. And the clear quartz is gonna go in my left hand as just like a feminine sort of protecting energy. The left hand is feminine, the right hand is masculine. And so let's just close our eyes. You can be holding your crystals in your palms. Or if you have just one crystal, you can hold it in your palms together. And let's close our eyes and take a moment to settle the body, relaxing into the moment. Just notice where you could be more soft, more calm inside. Where could you let go a little deeper? And if your breath is this loving force, this loving energy, where could you send the breath to feel more love today? I'd like you to direct your attention to the weight of the crystal in your palm.
just feeling the earthy quality of this gem that is made deep in the earth from a lot of pressure, from a lot of time. It has a very grounded quality to it and also a weight to it that gives it this earthy energy. And just rub your hands over the crystal, your fingertips, just notice what you sense energetically. What do you feel? Does it remind you of anything? Does it call any memories to mind? And you, there's no right or wrong. You don't have to worry about what comes to mind. You're just open and receptive to whatever this crystal brings you. And we'll imagine now that as we breathe in, our palms are able to absorb the healing energy of the crystal. And we're able to direct that healing energy directly into our heart center. So our hands are very connected to our heart chakra. So as we hold these crystals in our hands, we're inhaling to draw the healing energy up into our wrists, our forearms, our elbows, upper arms and shoulders, directly pouring that energy into the heart. So just take a few breaths and visualize the energy of these crystals entering your palms and flowing into your heart space and filling you with the healing essence and quality of these crystals. Even if you don't know what they're good for, just trusting that whatever energy you need is coming to you now. And perhaps you might sense that you automatically want to place the crystal on a part of your body, a part of your body that's hurting, a part of your body that needs more emotional support, more love. And if so, you feel free to touch the crystal to that part of your body. Still breathing in the healing energy and feeling the energy of the crystal drawing into your skin, your bloodstream, your cells, your energy field as you breathe in with these crystals touching your body. And let's gaze at the crystals now. So they're so beautiful. There's so much to inspect as you gaze with a soft focus at your crystal and there's no need to again judge or even think of anything specific as you're gazing at the crystal just open your mind and open your eyes and open your perspective and awareness to whatever you receive as you gaze into the crystal Noticing its color, noticing the light refracted off of its beautiful gem quality. Noticing the depth, the density. And continue to meditate on your crystal in whatever way you prefer. So if you like gazing at them, if you like placing them on the chakras, um, if you like just holding them and breathing, choose whatever meditation you'd like with your crystal. As I play my crystal bowl for you, this is actually made of the same stone, same gem. My quartz crystal bowl and my quartz crystal gem right here are the same. So. This is a very healing bowl, so just go ahead and listen to the sound of the bowl and my voice as you continue meditating on your crystal.
Beautiful. And we're going to take three more breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth with a big sigh. Breathe in together. Exhale, release. Deep breath in, filling the body with good energy. Exhale, let it go. And last time, deep breath in. Exhale, relax. Good. You can set your crystals down if they're in your palms, and let's place palms together at the heart center. Just checking in for a moment and noticing how you feel different today as of uh, meditating on your crystal. How did that crystal and energy help you today? Just feeling grateful for that. Thank you so much for watching today. The light within me bows to the light within you. Namaste. Well, guys, it's been a pleasure. This is Meditation Monday, your weekly video guide to meditation, breath work, energy work, and spirituality. And today I did a special meditation on crystals, how to absorb their energy and meditate on them. So I hope you liked this video. Please share it with anyone you know who might enjoy it as well. If you really love my channel and want to support this channel, you can con consider becoming my patron on Patreon. So that's a website where you can donate um, as little as a dollar per month to this channel and ensure that I keep creating these videos. You'll get some free bonuses and uh, you can request perhaps that I do a special meditation video just for you on a topic that you like. So click on the link in the description of this video below if you want to become my patron. I would appreciate it so much. And uh, until next time, I'm sending you guys lots of love. Have a good week. Bye.